Am I crazy? Am I crazy? Am I crazy? Am I crazy? It is April 30th, not even May, <laughs> and I think I'm gonna go plant some peppers. So typically the last frost date is like the end of May, beginning of June, here where I live in Anchorage, Alaska, but I think <laughs> I have a good spot for it where it's not gonna freeze. I have a little low tunnel cover over it. It's my raised bed big planter on the deck on the patio. Brendan built that for me a couple of years ago. I've just been like monitoring the temperature in there and it gets really hot in there and it seems like a little bit warmer at night. Also the forecast looks pretty good. So I think it is kind of crazy <laughs> to think about pep planting peppers or eggplants at this time of year here in Alaska, but I'm gonna do it. And thankfully I have a lot of peppers. I started a lot and I have plants. I have got a lot to spare and I'm just excited. So it's outside. It's been hardening off for a couple of days. I've been putting it out, taking it back in. It, I left it out in pretty much full sun yesterday and it seems okay. I have had problems with just like bleaching the leaves if I start to expose my plants to too much sun too quickly. Um, that's usually an issue that I have. It stayed out all night last night, so I'm not too worried about it getting too cold for it, especially because it'll be out in the cover. It's just the sun and the place I'm gonna plant it, where my patio planter is, it gets so much sun. Like, unless it's a cloudy day, it's gonna get a full day's worth of sun and really intense sun. bunch more peppers, <laughs> bunch more eggplants, bunch more of like everything kind of scattered. Okay, it's the next day. Now, did I get those peppers potted up? No. <laughs> the thing about peppers is I do wanna sell them. I do have extras for myself as well. Hopefully I can get to plant some out in a high tunnel where there's space after I get everything else planted in. But the thing about like selling them and have them to sell is that I, kind of want to be cautious about who I sell it to. So I don't want people to like have high expectations for grown peppers here in Alaska. You really have to have like a good spot for it or it won't really produce well or it'll just produce like a tiny, tiny bit. Peppers like the heat, they like a lot of sun and it's pretty cold <laughs> here in Alaska. Like even in the summer, it doesn't really get all that warm. So in the patio planter that I have that um, greenhouse plastic over, that gets really warm in the summer. And if you have a greenhouse here, those will do really well because we get a lot of sun and all that sun gets like trapped in, all the heat from that sun gets trapped in. Um, so in those situations, they'll be great for people to grow, but a lot of people won't be able to grow successfully. 
which is all to say that it's not like a super big priority of mine to get like a ton of peppers and to keep them of course I want to keep them healthy so I'll get them pot potted up eventually but now it's May 1st and I have to start making sure that I have all of my seeds planted for all of the varieties of plants and flowers that I do want to grow and that I also want to have for sale. So today I am wanting to plant a lot of nasturtiums. <laughs> I have a bunch so, so I picked these up at the hardware store. Um, dwarf, jewel, mixed colors, a couple of packets of those because there's so little amount of seeds that come in them. I have this from last year, Cherry Rose Jewel Nasturtiums. These are, yeah, a very pretty color and I think they're more of a mounding type than they are like super long vining. And I have this, Alaska Mix. And I got a bunch of these because I think nasturtiums are pretty popular here. I mean, this is called Alaska Mix. They do really well here. Yeah, they grow super well. Um, and they're one of the few varieties that like grow so quickly here and you get like a ton of impact from it. So for a nasturtium, they grow pretty quickly. Um, it says on the back to uh, seed them about three to four weeks before their last frost date, which is great. It's now. Um, but yeah, they grow really quickly. I'm gonna start them off because I want a lot of them in these smaller, like six cell, um, cell trays, but knowing that I'm gonna have to pot them up quite soon. So I'm not planning on keeping them in here for very long, but until, you know, more things move and I um, organize my space better, this will be more efficient for me or it'll help me manage everything a little bit better in the short term. of like winter squash and summer squash that I want to start now soon but I just don't know where I'm gonna put them yet I'm just like I'm gonna have to see <laughs> what I can get away with right now anyways I have these all planted that's good it's one thing that's like off my list off my mind I also had planted I started planting a few sunflowers just the other day and they're coming up you can start to see the little seedlings coming out I am going to go take my dog on a walk now. I, oh, the other day, okay, if you're watching this, just tell me <laughs> how you feel about this. The other day, I think one of my neighbors who's like uh, a bit further down the street, one of my neighbors was being mean to me, <laughs> saying that I just let my dog do whatever he wants and go wherever he wants because he peed on this like on the front corner of somebody's yard. It, it may be on a mailbox. I, I don't know if you guys get upset about that. I don't care. I've never thought about it. I've honestly never thought about it. I get upset if somebody like will leave poop on my yard, a, a dog's poop. I mean, they can poop there as long as they pick it up and leave it, you know, pretty clean. But I'm not expecting to go like stick my bare hands like at the bottom of my mailbox or on like the edge of the front yard. 
So I don't know, I never thought about it, but yeah, this guy was definitely so mean to me. And when I was like, at first I was just so confused about what he was talking to me about. I had my AirPods in, I took one out to like hear him out. I didn't hear exactly what he was saying, but yeah, it sounded like he was being a little bit threatening and mean, and I just don't want him to be violent towards my dog. I don't want, yeah, I don't want it like to, I don't know, get to a point, because some people get just so upset about like, Things that mean absolutely nothing. It's just like the thing and they were just so upset with their life <laughs> in the world that they need to just have something to argue about. And some people take it so far. So I'm a little bit scared of that. I think I'm always going to go the other way for walks now. Um, and yeah, I don't know. Let me know. Like, do you care if... I always, like, whenever there's a yard that has a sign of, like, don't let your dog pooper pee here. I always totally respect that. And also, if there is like a nice flower bed or any kind of flower bed at all, I don't let my dog pee there or kind of around there. Or if there's even like a young plant, I won't let my dog around there. So, I don't know. I feel like I haven't really done anything wrong. I was very confused for a while. I asked some of my friends about it and they're like also don't care. Um, I'm like so losing my train of thought. Honestly, I don't even like to think about this. I don't like confrontation. It made me like so uncomfortable that whole situation. Yeah, whatever. I, I don't know why I <laughs> like came upon this like thread of thought. Anyways, I'm oh because I'm gonna go walk my dog or maybe I'll just take him to the dog park. Like you can't get mad at my dog peeing and pooping there. I do always pick up his poop. I always have bags on me when I go for a walk or go anywhere with him. Anyways, <laughs> thanks so much for watching. Bye.